This short video provides a brief summary of the four learning objectives covered in Chapter 2 relating to measuring performance in operations and value chains. In the first learning objective, we learned that performance measures can be classified into several key categories, each corresponding to an important element of effective operations management. These categories range from financial to sustainability. Make no mistake, businesses are in business to make profits, and even nonprofits need to earn surpluses. Companies make those profits by providing quality goods and services to customers in a timely manner. Organizations have to be agile and flexible, as well as innovative and operationally efficient while emphasizing sustainability. In short, operations managers have a lot of spinning plates they need to keep their eye on. The next learning objective helped explain the use of analytics in OM and how internal and external measures are used. Business analytics can be used to describe the behavior of production and service systems. This can tell us how efficient our production line is or how responsive we are with handling customer support calls, right down to the average time per call for a specific type of support issue. Analytics can help predict performance. Walmart's a perfect example of using historical sales data to predict demand for any particular product during a particular season or even time of day. Analytics can help us make some decisions and predict best courses of action. A great example of this is how Starbucks relies on automated scheduling systems to recommend optimal staffing schedules while considering staff availability, maximum allowable hours, and probably even weather. Analytics can also aid in interlinking, which involves the quantitative modeling of cause and effect relationships between external and internal performance criteria. For example, if a customer technical support call center sets a target where the average support call should last no more than five minutes, what will the impact be on customer satisfaction? Some other examples might include the impact on customer retention by Microsoft shifting to a customer subscription model for its office product, or the effect of adding a second drive through lane on customer wait times at McDonald's. Another learning objective in the chapter explained how to design a good performance measurement system. Here's where we determine that good performance measures are 1. Actionable. This means that immediate action can be taken to make improvements. Measures must be meaningful to the user. Measures need to be timely. If it takes too long to get the result, it may be too late to take action. Technology and data analytics are now enabling for more performance to be measured in real time, and that's pretty cool. Good performance measures generate value to customers. If the measures don't ultimately allow for positive impact on customers, then what's the point? Finally, good performance measures seek to enable consistency with customer requirements. The last learning objective described four models of organizational performance used to aid in thinking about designing, monitoring, and evaluating performance. These models include the Malcolm Bridge Award Framework, which focuses on organizational performance excellence through self-assessment to understand a firm's strengths and weaknesses, and then help them set priorities for improvement. This is a strong tie to business strategy. The second big picture model is the Balanced Scorecard, which looks at organizational performance across four perspectives, financial, customer, internal, and innovation and learning. The last two models of organizational performance are more detailed frameworks for operations managers. The first such model is the value chain model, which seeks to find improvements across the entire value chain from suppliers through to customers. Then there's the service profit chain model. The emphasis here is on employees whom, through the service delivery system, can have a huge role to play in creating customer value, satisfaction, and loyalty, all of which lead to higher profitability.